Hi everyone, bonjour tout le monde, Jason here from MTL Bass Pros. Um, we're four days away from uh, the second qualifier for Renegade Bass this year, which is going to be on Dog and uh, Cranberry Lake, uh, just a little bit north of Kingston. And uh, I'm going to be talking to you guys uh, about a few tips and techniques I could uh, I could share for what it uh, what you need to do to get ready before you leave on a good road trip. Um, it's about three hours from my house, so you want to make sure uh, when you go on a three-hour road trip, uh, you don't get stranded and, you know, safety reasons and also not to waste your time practicing. So the first thing you do, uh, I mean, probably the most important thing is do a walk around. So you check your trailer tires, you make sure that they have air, the treads are okay, there's no uh, little metal spikes coming out. I've noticed that once a few years ago on one of my trailers. Um, that would probably be number one. Number two, uh, you go around the truck, you make sure the truck tires are good to go, you check the oil in the truck, uh, uh, fire up the truck, make sure the lights are working on the trailer, lights are working on the boat, if not, make uh, necessary repairs. Um, second thing you do is do maintenance on your boat. So you take a look, you open up your compartment, you check for your oil, uh, make sure your prop spins freely, you don't have any weeds or any, you know, any grime inside of the prop. Uh, make sure your pumps are working, make sure your bilge pump, very important that your bilge pumps are working. And basically, I, I like to do a checklist that brings you through everything that you have, and I go one by one and make sure I got everything with me so it makes the trip enjoyable and make sure you don't forget anything. Um, Dog Lake, uh, Dog Lake is something that's going to bring us very much out of our element. Um, me and Nick have very rarely fished lakes, uh, let alone lakes that are primarily a largemouth population. Um, from what we've been reading in previous scores, I assume uh, going there that it's going to take anywhere between 18 to 20 pounds to win the tournament. And I would think that with a 15 to 16 pound bag, we should be in the top 10. So I'm really looking forward to this. I mean, this is something that we're going to uh, we're going to use as a, a you know a stepping stone uh, to learn for uh, future tournaments. And um, I know we're gonna we're really shooting for a top ten. We did well at Morrisburg. Um, a top ten here would put us in a really good situation going into a back-to-back -back situation on the Ottawa River. Uh, so just to go over a few sponsors and to thank them, and uh, you know we're gonna be going through a bunch of different sponsors throughout the year, and you know explaining to you the products they offer and how they've really helped us out uh, at the uh, at the Morrisburg tournament. Like mentioned in the video, uh, we were using uh, Fluger Patriarch uh, spinning reels for the drop shot in the tubes, uh, Saint Croix rod with uh, spider wire braid, uh, whether it was 10 or 15 pound braid, and trilene uh, fluorocarbon line as the, as the leaders. Um, the lures themselves primarily were Jigajo um, tube jig heads. So whether it was quarter ounce or three, uh, three eighth ounce heads uh, with Dumbs tubes or, uh, or the X-tail minnows uh, from Dumbs. Uh, this tournament, because Dog Lake is primarily an open water, or what people say is an open water largemouth lake, um, we're going to be doing a lot of open water flipping. So I'm primarily going to be throwing a Jig X, uh, a Jig X uh, flipping jig. We have them, uh, they have them basically in all sizes, but I'm going to keep life easy in this tournament. Um, to explain to you how we're going to do our practice, I'm doing it, I'm kind of mixing in a pre-practice video here. Um, I'm going to fish my strengths. I don't do a lot of open water flipping. We fish the St. Lawrence River primarily. Uh, am I comfortable with you know sitting on weed lines in 13 feet of water and throwing a jig all day long when I'm not even really sure what kind of weed the largemouth lives in? I'm going to have to try it because from what everybody's told me, that's primarily what the winning pattern is. But at the same time, a lot of people fish their strengths. And when you fish your strengths, you can put together a really solid bag. So I'm going to start by fishing my strengths. I'm going to see if I can develop something fishing my strengths. And if not, I'm going to work open water. So working open water is going to be pretty simple. I mean, uh, like I said, I'm going to have three quarter ounce and half and uh, one ounce uh, jig X uh, flipping jigs. The reason why they're they're perfect for that is like I showed you guys in previous videos, and you'll see some on water video. The line tie is behind the head, so it's virtually the most weedless jig on the market. And when you're fishing, you know, open water, heavy weed beds, it's really a pain in the butt to always pull your jig up and have all these weeds hanging off. You lose confidence. You wonder if it's in the weeds right away. Um, and the trailers are pretty simple. We're going to use either the jig X trailer or a dumps trailer on it, and uh, just go flipping away all day long. So. Uh, We'll keep you guys posted. Uh, I've never done this before on an open water uh, largemouth lake, so I'm going to go for it hard. I, I have I've studied the map like we've mentioned in previous videos. I've looked at you know the transitional areas from the spawning to the to the main summer places. I don't I'm not convinced that they're on the outside edges of the weeds where they're going to be sitting their summer spots. So I'm going to start shallow and I'm going to gradually work my way out deeper. And uh, I really want to hope and uh, fall into a big whack of fish. So. Uh, I'd like to also thank um, my uh, one of my primary sponsors, which is Mercury Motors and uh, Group Tamamedin. I'm sure all of you all of you know who Tamamedin is. Um, they've just actually got the Ranger line of boats this year. Uh, they also, I mean, they're 
the biggest, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, Prince Craft Mercury dealer, as well as a ton of pleasure boats. Uh, you have to check them out. They have four locations, and um, one of the main factors we were able to do so well in the uh, in the Renegade tournament at Morrisburg uh, was because of the Optimax. I mean, super powerful engine, fired up for us every single time, and uh, got us to the weigh-in on time. So. Uh, Stay, uh, stay tuned, there's going to be a, hopefully a great on-water video and uh, you know, hopefully we can do well.